The New World Disorder Comedy. That's right. The tour lands in Seattle <laughs> November 17th. That's today. Today. Yeah. After Comedy Club. It's the Here After Comedy Club. Yeah, it is. We are just so thrilled to welcome Shantae Waynes. Hello. Hey, you, you didn't sound like you believed in the, the tour title. <laughs> you didn't sound like, it the new, like it's the New World Disorder Comedy Tour. It's a teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working on it. He's doing the great. New... You're doing great. But that is the name of the tour. Yes. It's amazing. Uh, and, you know, Shantae, I have to say, it seems like being funny was just written in the stars for you. Uh, you know, <laughs> you come from the comedy family, okay? Uh, you have to tell us, what was it like growing up a Wayne's? You know, it, it was interesting in the early days. We got to grow up before the fame and then go into the fame. So, you know, it was really great to grow up in a two-bedroom apartment with two grandparents, ten kids, wow. uh, two, three grandchildren, and have to figure out where you're going to sleep. Uh, at night. <laughs> yeah, that sounds complicated. Under gunshots. <laughs> oh my goodness. But things got better, I think. No, absolutely. I mean, listen, I, you know, I say this, uh, we're like the a basketball team. You know, you got your starting five, uh, you got the sixth and seventh. You might be able to, you know, have some luck with the eighth, and then once it starts going down, they just become the water boy. The water oh boy. no! <laughs> <laughs> So that's how I like to describe the family. Mm. Yeah. Wait a second. Where does that put you? Oh, I'm uh you're you with know, the, you're now starting I'm six five. No, now now you're I'm the like six man. Six seven. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. We, we, get, we get tapped in more. You know, the, the starting five is getting older. So they're they're starting to sure. need they need to Just like any other team. Exactly. They're aging out. Right, 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 right. They so they need, they need new blood. Right, right, right. I got it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So so you're on tour now. Yes. What yes. what can people expect from you? Well, the the New World Disorder Comedy Tour is basically a comedic take on this new world we're living in and you know, us navigating together uh, through this new space that that we're in, you know, with technology, with uh, you know, cancel culture, with you know, everybody, marriage, like relationships are different and all those things. So it's just taking a new take on where we are right now. You do, you, know? do you find it hard in this particular atmosphere, if you will, of telling a joke where people oh. will get extremely... Either either everybody's sensitive or they're overly sensitive. And you're like, for the love of God, you're coming to a comedy show. Back off. I mean, look, I just posted something that got uh, it's, it's a, a little over two million views right now, and the the level of people being upset with the joke, yeah. and then people getting the joke, it's just it's it's very different, and it's difficult. It's like if you wonder why your favorite comedians aren't touring, it's because it's not fun anymore. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like we're Every, everybody's trying to figure out this new space and, you know, I never thought I would be saying the words of my mother or my grandmother, which is like, you know, this new generation, uh, <laughs> this new generation is doing too much, you know what I mean? But, but I feel like we're in that space right now and it's really hard to do stand up, but I think a lot of people out there are still receiving it. Okay. Now you also you have a lot of projects going yes, on too. Yes, okay. You also have a game show on your YouTube channel. It is called Not Your Family Charades. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what got you into like game shows. What makes you love that? I mean, who who doesn't? Who doesn't? You know, I, yeah. <laughs> I come from the, the shop. Really competitive. Sweep. Remember the yeah uh, yeah the, supermarket you know, sweep. Yeah, yeah. Supermarket sweep and and all those shows. I love Deal and No Deal. Like <laughs> I, I'm a huge fan of just gaming. And I think Doran. Uh, the, the lockdown, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was like coming up with how to have fun in this, you know, dramatic uh, phase right now. But Not Your Family Charades, it's the game of charades, and we add a little roasting, <laughs> uh, you know, props, just a comedic take on, uh, on doing that. And it's, it's really, really fun. Yeah. Awesome. So you've got the name. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you've got the name. But you actually started in the industry as a production assistant. I did. I did. <laughs> so how does so you, you so you grew up in the industry? You've got the name. You started as a production assistant. At what point did, did you go? It's my turn. Oh, y you know, uh, funny thing was one night I just went to a comedy club and I saw stand up and I went home and I thought of these two jokes. I went back to the open mic the next day and uh, they asked me to come back for the later show, and that was just like a really. It, it was a voice that I felt like I didn't have. So to be on stage, for people to receive my opinions and, 
you know, what I was talking about, it opened up a world of like, oh my God, I get to turn pain into comedy. And speaking of that, you do, you talk about life struggles, yep. whether it's relationship or any, any sort of human struggle you're going through uh, with a tone of humor. So talk to me about whether you feel that's a bit of a superpower. I mean, life can be hard yeah. and a different perspective is important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, being an advocate of like mental health and, you know, addiction and, and you know, LGBT, I think it's important to to award yourself of being a survivor, you know what I mean, and, and healing and so forth and so on. And I think, you know, I get it, it's, certain things are just not funny, but it's a healing process for myself and it also connects me with fans because they come to me and, and say the same thing. There's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot of pain out there in the world and I think humor is one of, humor and love is like the answer. So off of that, you've openly talked about alcoholism and, and yes. being in recovery and so yes. on. How do you, when you're writing your material, how do you deal with that and f say, okay, here's the line. Yeah. And then make it comedy. Well, you you know when you're going too far. The audience, <laughs> the audience will let you know. They'll they'll give you some leeway, and then it's like, oh, or you know, because a lot of people have that in their family, you know, whether they're addicts and so on and so on. But um, nothing's funny when you're in the moment. But after again, when you survive it and you're you're able to talk about real things, because a lot of things ex we experience it. The system is is weird. You know, I had to go get drunk to. Uh, get help. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So again, when you're in a healing phase and you're good now, you can look back and go, that was really funny. <laughs> that I had, I'm calling for help and I have to go get drunk <laughs> to go get help. See? Yeah. You're the yeah. audience member I'm where like, you go, oh, oh I can't. <laughs> and he's, he's the one that's like, I'm with it. I'm oh. with it. You're like, oh, oh. this is it's true. It's true. It's sad, but it's funny. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Shante, it's, thank you so thank much. You. This thank has been amazing. Yeah. And and also uh, an applause for your for your bravery, right? Talking about your life, that's a vulnerable place to be in. Yeah, so thank you for doing that and doing you. it with humor, okay? Thank you. You can uh, definitely catch the New World Disorder Comedy Tour tonight. Ticketing information available on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. This is great. Come through. Yep.